Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss about inheritance. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started and let's see what is inheritance. Inheritance is a mechanism by which one class can access the functionality of another class. So let's see what it means and for that we are going to open this visual studio code editor and let's share i already have created this class and now i have changed the namespace because i am going to create an employee class again so public class employee and because we already have created a employee class inside the c sharp tutorial namespace so i am going to create it inside the different namespace now and i have changed that namespace to inheritance tutorial and in the previous part we were using this namespace c sharp tutorial so let's create it and let's define some properties here so it will be public a string first of all public int id and it will be id of employee public string name that's it i'm not going to define some other fields and it will have a method public it will have a constructor so cto okay so we have created a parameterized constructor here now let's define the default one also and let's see what else we can do so now i am going to create a method public void display employee So here I am going to write console dot write line and it will display some information like name, age, sorry name and ID. So put a dollar sign here and write here ID name it will have id and name that's it so these are the employee details so it is our employee class now suppose we have another class like public class manager and manager is also employee he will have all of these methods and properties but he will have one more method and that method will be assign task okay and we will have one class which will be programmer and programmer have each of these fields and each of these fields and methods employee all sorry manager also have each of the field but it will have one more method which will be assigned task so we can write so for that to access the functionality of this employee class we have to inherit it here so it is how we inherit it programmer employee and okay fine now it have every functionality of this employee class and it, it can also have its own methods like public void get coffee and it's not a real life scenario it's just an example so do not take it seriously that 
why should a programmer get coffee and others are not getting it do not go there getting coffee and manager have one additional method which will be first of all we need to inherit this employee class public void and assign task and right here console dot log sorry right line assigning task so if you want to use some pre-written functionalities you do not want to write them again then you can inherit a class where these functionality has already written so here we want to use the functionality of employee class in the programmer class because we have every we have similarity in our methods and members but in the case of programmer we have a one extra method which is get coffee and in the case of manager we only have one method which is which is assign task so that's it and so let's see let's create first of all let's create object of employee mp equals to new employee and it will be john id will be one and it will be john so it is the general employee now we have programmer prg equals to new programmer okay and now we have one more object manager mgr equals to new manager it will be zil and it will be manager will be max and its id should be 3 and its id should be 11 okay so now it is saying that we haven't defined any constructor which will have two parameter so we are going to define it here here we are going to define the programmer and it will take int name sorry int id int age and how we can pass these values to the constructor of the base class and the class that is sharing its functionality is called base class and which class is using functionality is called a derived class so here employee is a base class and programmer and managers are the derived class so i'm gonna write here it is a base class and these are the derived classes so it is the derived class and it is also the derived class now we have to access the parameterized constructor of our base class so let's see how we can access them we can access it with this method and it is saying which parameter you are going to access i am going to access the second one id and name so we will provide this id name int id and string name and it is not going to work like that so i am removing it and int it is not a age it is a name so let's correct this thing a string name so 
Now we can simply pass these values here also id name okay and same thing will goes here inside the employee so right here ctor and okay so just call the display employee method here display employee and prg dot display employee mgr dot display employee let's run this program and let's see what is the output okay so here one name john 11 name zil and max now let's see how many methods these have and it will not have the get coffee method and assign task method but programmer will have this additional method programmer dot get coffee and this manager have mgr have assign task method so now let's run the program and let's check the output of this program okay so it haven't changed now let's see why it is not changing public void assign task assign task and here get coffee it should be get coffee and it should be work it should work so why it is not working why it is not printing the value okay let's run it again and let's see yeah right now it is working fine id1 name is on id11 zil zil is developer so programmer and it is getting coffee assigning task because it was a manager and it is the it is the details of that manager three and max so that was all about inheritance and it was the part 15 okay so fine so that's it for now we will catch up later